Dia de los Muertos is the fast approaching as this celebration is held every year on November 1st and 2nd. And it is not Halloween. When I first started coming to Mexico many years ago, I came every November and I would see all the beautiful flags along the streets, um, the paper flags hanging. I saw lots of skulls, sure skulls being sold in the stores and people uh, had skeletons everywhere. I even saw a few people dressed up in skeleton costumes and it felt like Halloween. And I thought maybe it was Halloween, but it isn't. And the locals would say, no, no, this is not Halloween. And I kind of assume that most people that have not been brought up in this culture don't really understand the holiday and how deep it is and meanings behind it. And I want to share what I have learned and do like a gringo's guide to Dia de los Muertos. And I woke up with an epiphany. Am I the person that should be doing this? It's not in my culture. It's not in my DNA. So after spending the last two weeks working on this video, I've come to a conclusion that there's a better way for you to learn about it. You don't need to learn all the ins and outs of this holiday. You just need to understand the meaning and the depth and the beauty of it. And then if you want to get further involved in it at another time, then you can dig into it deeper. So let's go from here. Let's have a little fun. And I will try to explain it to you the best I can so that you can enjoy this holiday that is originating in Mexico. Now, most Latin American countries are celebrating it. And with more Latinos living in the United States, we're seeing it become a holiday that people are enjoying there too. Let's get into it. So deep diving into this, like I told you, I've decided the best way for you to understand this holiday is to either re-watch or watch for the first time the beautiful, meaningful Pixar movie, Coco. But hear me out, hear me out. There's a few things in that movie that aren't really explained. And if I go into it a little deeper and then you rewatch it and I only need a few minutes of your time, I think you'll enjoy the movie even more and come out of it with even a greater appreciation. One of the things that is the meaning of the Katrina and the Katrina. So stay tuned with me through the end of this. It's gonna be a quick overview of some of the things I noticed. However, I first wanna celebrate the writers and the artists and the directors of Coco. Uh, it, it's an extraordinary production that captures the colors and the feeling and the love of the Mexican people and this holiday. Pixar and their people brought the meaning of Dia de los Muertos to the world in a way that I never could even dream of doing. For those who you who have watched it, I would hope you could come away from this, that this holiday is not about death and monsters and and the evil parts of what like Halloween's about, being afraid. Because Dia de los Muertos is about celebration of life and of death. And that the dead are always with us as long as we keep them in our hearts. And they come back once a year to join us and they will still be parts of our family, whether it's your grandma, your grandpa, your brother, your sister, and even your pets. The Mexican people 
have in their hearts that if you are always remembered, you never die. So that's what they do every year. Try to always remember their ancestors. It's an extremely healing holiday that we just don't have in the United States. This is a festival. It's full of music and good times and the family celebrate together of the food that their, their loved ones that they're celebrating loved, the music they loved, the drinks they loved. They put out offerings to entice the spirit to come back with all the beautiful things that they loved. In the movie, you're gonna see this big bridge where the dead spirits are crossing over to go join their loved ones and it's full of marigolds. Well, if you're in Mexico around these days, all the stores are full of marigolds. They're selling thousands, if not millions of marigolds. And the people decorate from the grave to their homes or the altars or the grave itself. They make beautiful carpets, they call them carpets, decorations in the streets full of marigolds and you'll see candles everywhere. So the significance of it is that the marigolds, uh, the odor of them is supposed to guide the spirits home and the candles light the way. And they put sugar skulls on the graves. Every once in a while you're gonna see kids eating the sugar skulls, but mainly uh, they are to be put on the altars or the graves they're decorated. They're, many times their loved one's name is imprinted in icing on these sh sugar skulls. I've even seen chocolate skulls. And you're gonna see the skeletons everywhere. And this is a tradition that is gonna date back thousands of years. Dia de los Muertos has its roots in Mesmoamerica, with the Aztecs and the other indigenous people where they felt it was not appropriate to mourn the dead because the dead are still a part of us. They're in our hearts, they're in our souls, they are around us. So it was about celebration and never forgetting them. People are now dressing as the Katrina and La Katrina and people will decorate even one half of their face. One side is going to be just a normal look and the other side is a skeleton. It, they're beautiful costumes. And there's even a deeper meaning over the Katrina. It doesn't matter how rich you are, how poor you are. It doesn't matter what color your skin or who you were. Once we die, we're all skeletons. We're all the same. So there is the true deep meaning of the Katrina. The movie Coco is loved by the Mexican people. I think they're extremely proud of this movie. It touched their hearts. It touched my heart. It touches everybody's heart who sees this movie. Coco, totally captured the essence of Dia de los Muertos. Again, it's not Halloween. I implore you to watch it again with new eyes or watch it for the first time. And remember, this is a celebration of the living and their loved ones, because as long as they're in their heart, they are still with us. Dia de los Muertos is saturated with meaning. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to do something deeper, as I said, but I just don't think I'm the one. Go watch Coco.